This is my secret diary, a game so secret that it requires a password. So even if you get my secret diary, you won't know my password to open it. My secret diary, so secret, it's up on YouTube for all the world to see. How am I feeling? They don't have disgruntled and annoyed, so I'll just pick angry. Look at all these options. So basically everything in this game can be done by a cheap cell phone. But this is marketed to pre-teenage girls for the Nintendo DS. Let's see how it plays. The first thing that I'll do is enter a secret diary entry. Then it's time for a word search. You can't stop me. Word search FTW. Yeah, the word search is probably the best part of this Nintendo DS quote unquote game. It's amazing what they'll make for the DS and even more incredible that there's a market for this. If your daughter really wants a video game for her pink Nintendo DS with puffy paint and sparkles, buy her Mario Kart or something. Oh wait, 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 we're in the word garden. What word could this be? Flamethrower, robot, cyborg, ninja, forest. Uh, well, ninjas can be in a forest. Yeah, I'm not terribly impressed with this one. This is a clever attempt to snag some parents 15 bucks in the checkout line at Target. Anyway, back on subject, I made my diary entries, and then, at some point in the future, I can go back and see what I was thinking in the past, in my secret diary. I can also open fortune cookies or something. You know, I, I guess as a parent, you would just have to ask yourself, D does my kid really need this? I'm showing you how it works, sarcasm included for free. Oh, here's a nice feature, you can enter contacts along with their birthday, favorite uh, favorite color, favorite kind of music. And let's, let's say one of your contacts is a 130-year-old cat. You can enter dates all the way back to 1880. More likely, you, you could have a friend that, that's a tree. So as long as they don't predate 1880, you're set. You can enter them into your contacts. I tried one other thing. I tried to actually make somebody's birthday in the future. It wouldn't let me. That's discrimination against time travelers. I'm, I'm entering my friend as Zarzanatron 7000. She's, she's from the future. She was actually born in the year 7000, hence, hence the name. That's, that's how they do it in the future. That way they never forget their birthday. Very clever. Humanity gets smarter. I've actually learned a lot about gaming in the future. Uh, the, the Modern Warfare series has, has, dies out fairly quickly. Halo's gone. Mario, Mario Kart, Donkey Kong, all that stuff is, 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 out, is out of here by the year like 3000. But they are up to My Secret Diary 738. And seriously, homeroom does suck. Talk about boredom. This would probably be good for cheating on tests, but, but I think you can also just do that with a cell phone. You know, back when I was in junior high, we had to do it the old-fashioned way and try to write things on the inside of our shoe, or even, or even worse, to uh, memorize them. Which I think might be the same thing as learning, I'm not sure. You know, just because there's a lot of games aimed at girls doesn't mean they need to be so girly. Buy your daughter a Vectrex. That way they can play good games, like Solar Quest. And they would be the coolest kid in school, no Question. Just picture in your head an eight-year-old girl with pigtails walking into the lunchroom with a Vectrex and an extension cord to plug it into the nearest outlet. Somebody should name their daughter Vectrex.